Today's world is growing increasingly more digital, and it has never been easier to access digital information. With devices such as cell phones, laptops, netbooks, and tablets, for example. Unfortunately for the blind population, much of this information is not as accessible. Current consumer refreshable braille displays are expensive and bulky, unable to display multiple lines of text. My teammates and I are extremely proud to introduce the Ditto. Ditto meaning Digital Input Tactile Output. We have worked over the past two semesters to produce a prototype of our device that effectively demonstrates a never-before-implemented multi-line braille display. Our device prototype is the first step towards unprecedented access to digital content for the blind population. We hope this video will shed some light on the ditto and demonstrate how truly innovative and revolutionary our prototype is. Current refreshable braille displays are very expensive and limited in features. The standard piezoelectric technology used in traditional braille displays limits the device to only one row of characters and is the main source of cost in this implementation. The technology used by the Ditto allows for multiple lines of characters which can be used to display more text, view math equations, or display a simple image such as a graph. The members of the visually impaired community we have spoken to are excited about our project and especially the prospects of using a multi-line display. Software running on the embedded system dictates what is displayed on the Braille display boards. The program constantly pulls the user interface for new input, and when a button is pressed, the software then handles a request, whether it's selecting a document to read, viewing an image, returning to the home screen, or paginating both back and forth between the pages of a text file. The software then translates and outputs a bit stream that can be understood by the Braille hardware control circuits, causing new Braille characters to be formed on the board. The concept of the Ditto is ambitious. Having intensive software and hardware components that must interact with one another and the user constantly. Because we developed the Ditto from the ground up, it was important to choose an embedded system with the right qualifications over conventional microcontrollers and other basic hardware solutions. To meet our needs, we chose the TS7500 from Embedded Arm. This embedded system is capable of running our own Debian environment and interfacing with hardware through multiple onboard options, including XUART ports spy ports, serial ports, relays, and basic input and output ports. The solenoid actuation subsystem is made up of 37 integrated circuits, 198 diodes, a few resistors and capacitors, and all are used to actuate 48 solenoids. These solenoids are set up in standard braille convention to create the first six characters of braille on the ditto. Latching solenoids, which are the components chosen for this low power design, only require instantaneous power versus the continuous pulses, which are standard solenoids require to achieve the same results. Using latching solenoids requires the ability to move the solenoids both up and down to change them from their previous state. This is accomplished through the use of H-bridge drivers, which read, read in signals of which direction the solenoid should actuate. This is the easiest and most efficient way to actuate these low power solenoids, but a way to deliver the data needed for each driver became complex to realize. This is solved by creating an array of serial to parallel integrated circuits that work in pairs to deliver the data read in as one stream from the embedded system to the solenoid driver that the data corresponds to. Possibly the most creative design of this circuit came by using a final serial to parallel integrated circuit to implement the delivery of the enable signal for each of the drivers. This enable signal allows the data to be delivered from the embedded system to each of the solenoid drivers, but only when the enable signal is seen will all of the solenoids actuate. In doing this, the overall power consumption of the board stays down below 1 watt during the actuation process. A low power design such as this subsystem and one, is one of the reasons why this device is innovative and pushes the boundaries of mobility and efficiency. LEDs are being utilized to show the intended Ditto scope. We were required to use suppliers that would accept payment from the department. This entails us to purchase stock solenoids at retail value, scaling back our overall solenoid purchase to fit within our budget. In order to show the multi-line feature of our Ditto design, we implemented an LED display to show where the solenoids would go. The LED display utilizes multiplexing to light 352 LEDs simultaneously with only one data input, one clock, and one load signal from the embedded system's Ditto software. The code in the LED display 
is designed to run similarly to the solenoid display so that it adequately shows the LEDs as a substitution for the braille dot producing solenoids. The extensible design of the Ditto can be expanded to include more features of a tablet computer. The multi-line display allows a user to view images and the text to braille software is able to take any sort of digital text input such as web pages or emails and display them in the same fashion as if one was reading books. The addition of more complex input methods will help us achieve our goal of shortening the digital divide between the visually impaired and the sighted.